What's up YouTube? It's your boy, it's your homie Futuristic Mike. Welcome back to another movie review. Now this is going to be a movie review on Bones and All. This is a drama, horror, and romance film. The description for this film reads, Marin, a young woman, learns how to survive on the margins of society. The runtime for this movie is 2 hours and 11 minutes. Now it's starring Taylor Russell. And this is a great movie, man. I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. I'm going to tell you like this. I went into this movie not knowing what to expect at all. I turned it on because of Taylor Russell. I've been a big fan of her since the Escape Room movies. I don't know if you guys have seen the Escape Room movies that have came out in the last couple of years. Escape Room 1 and Escape Room 2 Tournament of Champions. But those are really good movies. So I've been a fan of her since those dropped. So once I seen she was starring in this movie, I'm like, man, let me check it out. The movie took a turn quick, though, within like seven minutes of the movie. Marin, the main character, is at a new town and a new school, and she's trying to make friends. So she goes to this girl's house with some other girls, and she bites this girl's finger off. They're all just chilling, and the girl is trying to show her like her painted nails or whatever, and she bites her finger off. And I'm like, what the fuck? But we find out that she has a taste for human flesh. And her dad knows about it. You know, he's known all along. He's known her whole life. So she goes home with blood all over her shirt and stuff. And her dad is like, pack your things. Whatever you need, pack it right now. We got to be out of here when the cops show up. So her dad relocates her to another town. But he leaves when she's asleep and leaves her a note and a tape to listen to. And she was listening to this tape all throughout the movie. And he was pretty much saying that he can't do this anymore. It's too much stress on him, and he's had enough of dealing with her addiction to human flesh and stuff. I guess he felt like it was going to get them caught eventually. So he let her fend for herself. So she goes through the whole movie, you know, going across the country with some boy that she meets. But first she takes a bus to a few other towns before meeting this boy. She finds another person like her. An eater is what they call him. They call him eaters. He walked up to her because he said he smelled her from down the street. And I'm like, what the hell? But she goes with him to this house and he's explaining everything to her about being an eater and stuff. And she's surprised because she's never met another one of her kind. This is different. Now, this guy has a woman upstairs and she's not dead, but I guess she's about to die. So they eat her together. And the next morning, you know, Marin hurries up and gets out of there. You know, she leaves Sully. She gets on a bus to another town. And it's weird because this guy, Sully is just standing outside watching her as she leaves now she meets lee you know she meets him at some store and then she talks to him outside and she goes with him in the car and she quickly learns that he's an eater too you know they ride together and fall for each other and stuff and he's killing people while she's with them so that they can eat this movie is not for the weak at all if you're not into stuff like this and you don't like blood and stuff like that do not watch this movie because you might get sick to your stomach they really show some graphic scenes in this movie, I'm not gonna lie. And basically the rest of the movie, you know, they try to look for Marin's mother. She knows the area that her mother is from, but she never met her. When she finally tracks her mother down, thanks to her mother's adoptive mother, she learns that her mother is an eater too. You know, she's in some nut house, and when she's in there, her mom has a note for her that she wrote like 15 years prior. She reads it, and it's emotional or whatever, but her mom tries to take a bite out of her. Her mom was a bad eater because she bit off her own hands. So she runs out of there as quick as she can and her emotions are all over the place. So she leaves Lee. You know, Lee is asleep in the truck and she leaves him. And they're apart for quite some time, but they end up reuniting later in the movie. You know, she runs back into Sully. I guess Sully has followed her and stuff. It's pretty weird. You know, this dude really followed her across the country. I guess he felt like there was a connection between the two and stuff because he doesn't really know many eaters like her. But she told him to get out of there. She wasn't trying to go with him in his van and he was really, you know, pissed off. He said, fuck you and everything. Like he was mad. But then, like I said, Marin and Lee reunite. You know, they come across each other again and she learns more and more about Lee. She learns what he did to his father and stuff like that. And these two really fall for each other. And honestly, it was just a really good movie, man. It's not what I expected at all. I went into this movie expecting something completely different. And once I seen her start eating human flesh and stuff, I'm like, whoa. I didn't even know this movie was about that, man. Um, I know it's based off like this novel or whatever. It's based off a book, I guess. Um, I never read it. 
But yeah, I did not expect this to be like this at all. It completely caught me off guard, man. It caught me by surprise. I'm just like, whoa, like this is crazy. So yeah, this movie is not for the weak at all. If you don't like stuff like this, you will not like this movie. Now, it's definitely not on no Terrifier 2 level or whatever, where people were puking and passing out in the movie theater and stuff and having to go to the hospital. It's not on that type of level, but it is pretty gross. I'm just warning you guys right now. It's still pretty gross, and you guys might not like it. But if you guys have seen the movie, comment your thoughts down below. Let me know what you think of Bones and All. I really enjoyed it, man. 7.5 out of 10. It was a really good movie. But let me know all your thoughts. Keep supporting your boy, and I'll be continuing to bring y'all movie reviews in the future. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and smash that notification bell so you can never miss a video. If you guys want to donate to the channel, I got links below to the PayPal and Cash App accounts. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me get out of here, y'all. It's your boy, Futuristic Mike, and I'll talk to you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.